back to my channel Ambola, also known as strictly dishes so if this is the first time you're coming across this channel you have found well please click on the subscribe button because that will make my day and to all my amazing beautiful handsome lovely amazing subscribers you guys are the real deal and i say thank you Mwah. yes on this channel just as i said i teach you how to cook like a pro yes you heard right and today i'm going to be teaching you something simple crunchy yam balls so sit back let's do this together so how you doing has work how is everything the first thing you're going to do is to bring water to a bowl peel your yams and just put into a pot i like cutting my yams into small pieces so it will cook evenly and cook very fast i just add only salt cover and allow that to cook for about 20 to 25 minutes it's very important that your yam cooks properly so that it will be easy to incorporate other ingredients into it as you can see the yam is ready and we're going to set that aside and for this particular yam bowl i'm actually using a food processor to mix everything together if you don't have a food processor you can use a mortar you can use um a potato mesh measure you can actually use um a fork but you know what i love the soft life so i'm going to be using a food processor for this and i'm just going to cover this because it's like the yam is much so i'm going to cover this and just i'm just going to blend this for a while because i want it to actually give space i want it to reduce so that i can add incorporate the other ingredients if the yam is not so much you can just put everything at the same time but for me i'm just doing this first so that i can have space to incorporate the other ingredients yes so have you had yam balls before i'm sure but even if you've not had yam balls before i'm sure you must have had yam because yam is one of the staple foods in nigeria and africa i love the fact that it can be used for different kinds of meals wow yam is so versatile yes and as you can see i'm adding some sardines some carrots and if you're conversant with this page you know i'm very big on my vegetables i love vegetables i love my purpose i love the flavors i love colors i just like the way it tastes i just love vegetables a whole lot i try as much as possible to incorporate it into my food because it is totally amazing i'm adding some yellow pepper yes and some rosemary spice which is very important i'm going to also add some curry powder but you know we definitely need something to bind it so i'm going to come in with some butter just to help to bind everything together and we mix 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 and mix yes it's very easy and it's so crunchy i love yam balls for me it's one of my party favorites when i go to a party and i see yam balls i am definitely going to eat it especially if it is well prepared the next thing i'm going to come in, in is with my flour and for this flour i'm just going to season lightly i'm going to add some salt and some seasoning powder you can add only salt it just depends on how flavorful or how tasty you want your yam balls to be and these are the egg whites yes i actually added only the egg yolk to the mix so the egg white is going to come in handy if you like you can season your egg white if not you can leave it like that it's still going to be sweet and for there's a technique to this i actually rub some oil some cooking oil on my hand on my pan so that it will be an easy process to mold if you add some cooking oil just rub it and rub it will just come out very well you won't have to stress yourself it gives you a perfect round ball can you see it this is exactly how you do so i'm going to make sure that i do all of this and voila this is it looking really really nice yes yeah it's actually cumbersome it's actually it has it's very very cumbersome making yam balls but it is worth it because it is super duper delicious I'm going to coat this in some flour as a first stage yes make sure you coat properly until it's looking like this the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to put this in your egg white yes and also cut you see i told you it's not a an easy job and the next but not the least you're going to coat it this with some egg i have some bread crumbs you can actually use some cornflakes you can use some biscuit it depends on what you want for your crunch but i'm actually using some bread crumb and that because it's easy for me to make yeah follow the process again until every yam ball is coated wow 
I am already dancing. I'm already happy because I know this is going to come out well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. You know, I'm a foodie. And you know, when you're I'm making something that I like, I always sing. This is how it's looking. The yam balls have totally covered all of them in breadcrumbs and everything. The next thing is we're going for the frying process. I'm actually using some sunflower oil, but you can use vegetable oil. You know, I'm big on sunflower oil because it's very healthy and very light. Make sure that it is not too hot. Your oil is not too hot. So I'm frying this on medium heat. Repeat, medium heat so it can cook both properly on the inside and on the outside also make sure that you don't overcrowd your pot or your pan if not it's going to soak oil and you wouldn't like that what we're trying to achieve is crunch on the outside and properly cooked on the inside yes and can you see the way i'm just putting it gently you have to pet this thing because you don't want it to scatter and just uh no 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 all the hard work we've put into this it will not just be right so tell me would you make some would you be making some yam balls and you know that you can actually use some potatoes sweet potatoes irish potatoes depends on any one you want it goes perfectly well using the same process yes you see i just flipped that and now it's time for the moment of truth let's see if this actually whoa can you see this looking really beautiful is the food really look beautiful well these yam balls are looking beautiful and guess what they are just calling me they're saying strictly come have me eat me eat me but wait let me show you how they look can you see this looks really nice they even look like egg roll if not that i you know this is yam balls yes make sure that the oil strains completely and voila yam balls are ready i'm pairing this with some pepper sauce you can actually have it with some ketchup you can have it with any sauce of your choice but as some people also add some egg to it but egg is already in the recipe so i just don't want to have add it have it with egg i'm having it with just a light pepper sauce and i'm also having it with some lettuce by the side yes this really 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 looks nice and all put together i love the colors can you see the inside is properly cooked the outside is crunchy and this is how you make a perfect yam balls yes it looks really 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 amazing please when you make this for friends and family and they ask you where did you learn how to cook like a pro give us a credit tell them strictly dishes taught you how to cook like a pro till next time i come your way eat healthy stay healthy bye -ya.